What's going on guys? Welcome to another episode. Today we are heading to the lake right now to try to catch some winter bass. It's December 5th and it's going to be about 45 to 50 degrees today, which is actually a pretty warm day. We've been blessed with uh, having another warm weekend. This whole week has been pretty cold, you know, 20 to 30 degree days. And this uh, next two days are going to actually be pretty warm. So I, hopefully we can get some videos out today and tomorrow for you guys. So right now we're heading to a lake that has a lot of smallmouth in it. Hopefully we can cash in on that today. As you can see, it's really extremely foggy out. It's been like this for the past two days. So I hope by the time we get to the lake, it'll be safe enough to run because right now it would not be uh, at 727 right now. But like I said, hopefully once we get there, there'll be not so much fog so we can get right to fishing. And here goes a little small, not big, but you know it's December. First fish of December, actually. There you go. Using this Johnson, this is I think it's called a thin fisher. It's just a little blade bait. It's half ounce, golden black. Uh, and that's what I got him on right there. And this is about how far we off are, are off the dam, and I probably casted somewhere out in that range. So we're sitting in seven foot. Uh, there's a bunch of shad popping. I don't know if you just saw that one right there. But I cast it out there, so it's probably about, I'd say, 15 to 20 feet. That's what I would guess. So, yeah. Keep at it. What is it? I have no idea. I popped it on that wood and he just... Oh my gosh. It's coming up. It's a carp. That's a big old it's small... It's a small mouth. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh yeah. Big boy. He's big. Oh my gosh, oh. Son of a god. Oh my gosh. Oh. <laughs> Alrighty guys, look at that. That's why we come out here in the winter right there. Got snagged on a brush pile. Then I went in to get the uh, snag out. And as soon as it came out, this big old tag hammered it. That is a gorgeous fish right there. Beautiful spot. Okay guys, Dan just hooked up on a small, it looks to be a decent one, on that blade bait. Oh no, it's a large mouth, let me get the net. Probably our second second biggest fish of the day. Oh yeah, chunky, chunky large mouth. There he is right there. Look how yellow he is. That one came on the gold blade bait too. There he goes. So what, what's happening right now is we started fishing this bank right here and there's some isolated laydowns that come down. So basically what we're doing is we came along this bank and we're starting to see more bait fish on the graph. If you can see how this is the best example, uh, but there is a lot of bait fish on this bank and I think the fish are just bought up here. Talked to some other guys, said they're catching walleye. I think there's just a bunch of different types of fish on this bank. And that proved we caught the two biggest ones of the day so far. Did the same thing, man. I got hung up. I kind of popped it. Boom. I was like, you, I, I saw. I said, I can't. I can't believe it. That's fish. Oh yeah, right on my spot. Good one. Digging? Oh yeah. 
Look how large he is. That's a large tree, Cole. Get the net. That's actually a two car net. That's a large tree. My God. <laughs> That's a large tree. There you go, guys. Putting something together slowly but surely. He's found us. Solid. Took in that blade bait. Casting this off these logs right here and hitting, hitting some fish here and there. I mean, what is the water? 47 degree water. I've seen as low as 44 degree water today. So catching a few chunky fish, especially that big old swallow, is definitely a nice thing to come out here and do. Alrighty guys, just cut this pretty sweet looking walleye. Cut it on the blade bait. Look at that black dot. I'm going to go ahead and let him go. Look at that. This thing's just so mean looking. There he goes. Got the camera wet. So basically what we were targeting today was the laydowns that were still left in the water. This lake's about 10 feet down I would say so it's kind of hard to find these logs that were coming out deep enough in the water to hold fish. But when we did find it we got bit most of the time. Basically all I was using is a Shimano Cronark. This is a 200 E6. I got it spooled with 12 pound fluorocarbon. Uh, the line I'm using is Seaguard and Vizex. And then the rod for it I'm using a 7 foot medium heavy Falcon Buku. And this is the crankbait action so it has a moderate tip so it'll keep those treble hooks pegged really good. As far as the bait, it's a Johnson Thin Fisher. This is a half ounce gold black color. So all I'm doing is I'm casting up to the tip of the log and I'd work it all the way back basically just bringing it parallel alongside the log and all you want to do is once that bait hits the bottom these baits are really heavy and dense so there's a really defined tick when it hits the bottom if you will and once that bait hits the bottom simply lift your rod up and follow it back down with your rod tip and hit it until it hits the bottom again lift it back up and keep repeating that and the fish are generally going to hit it when it's on the bottom or uh, when the bait is sinking but the main thing is just to keep in contact with your line and keep sensitivity on there to know when a fish is on there. So that's all we're doing guys today. Hope